Okay, we're talking about addition now. In one and two, identify each property. And in one, it says four plus 15 plus 26 equals four plus 15 plus 26. So that's the associative property. So it basically means that you can regroup uh, the numbers and you're still gonna have the same answer. They're both gonna be equal. Uh, number two, uh, 173 plus zero equals 173. That's the identity property of zero. In addition, any time you add zero to it, uh, that's called the identity property of addition. In three through five, write each missing number. So on uh, number three, it says blank plus 90 equals 90. That's identity property, so that's a zero. Okay, and number four, uh, 426 plus 239 equals 239 plus what? And that's the community property. That just means you can change the order. So that's 429. I'm sorry, 426. I'm sorry, 426. In five, it says two plus blank plus six equals two plus three plus six. And uh, that's also talking about the associative property. So uh, the, the missing number right here would be three. So I'm just saying that we can regroup those numbers. I can do two plus three in a group, just like I did three plus six, as long as I'm adding the plus two or plus six right here. Um, number six, why is the community property of addition also called the order property? And that uh, means, it's, uh, the reason they call it is, is you can change the order and it's not going to change your answer in an addition problem. So you can so it just means you can change the order in addition. It's not going to change your answer. Question number seven. Okay, Ralph says you can rewrite four plus five plus two as nine plus two. Do you agree? Why or not? Why not? And you can because four plus five is nine. So uh, you're just uh, you're just adding that uh, the four plus five together. Uh, so four plus five plus two is going to be the same thing as nine plus two. So it's it's the same. Okay. Uh, on the rest of the problems right there. On uh, eight, nine, and ten, they want you to identify the property um, for each one of those. So you just write either uh, identitive, commutative, or associative properties to identify eight, nine, and ten on your own. So you're gonna you're gonna write. Uh, you can basically go back and look at your um, your uh, vocabulary words in your composition book to help you answer those questions. And in 11 through 22, write the missing numbers. So very similar. It's just like the problems that we did in, the, uh, in pretty much one through five on the uh, guided practice. Let's go and look at the back side. We'll do a few of these ones on the back side together. Okay, so 23, we'll do that one together. And it says, group the add-ins below in different ways to get the same sum. Write the new number uh, sentence. Okay, so uh, that's basically talking about the associate property, so I can regroup. I can regroup the orange ones and red ones. I'll, I'll put the uh, orange ones, uh, or the, uh, I think these are my orange ones, so that's gonna be my six plus my two red ones plus four equals 12. So I just regrouped them a different way. I use the associate property to answer that question. 24, draw a picture, okay? Draw objects of two different colors to show Four plus three equals three plus four. So you can just take two different colors. Uh, you can use your crayons to answer that one. Uh, do f and, and it's pretty simple. You should be able to answer that one. Okay, 25. Okay, Barry says the sum of three plus six plus five is the same as six plus five plus three. Okay, Don says the sums are different. Who is correct? Okay, um, the sum's gonna be the same. And that's because of the associative property uh, of addition. We can, all they did is regrouped it in a different way and you, you get the same answer because you're using the same numbers. Okay, and 26. Below is the example of a property of addition. Both sides of the sentence equal 22. What is a missing number for each? So you need to figure out whether it's A, B, C, or D. The missing number has got to equal 22. Okay, and 
27. Okay, a lionfish has 13 spines on its back, two near the middle of its underside, and three on the underside near its tail. Use a, pro use a property of addition, uh, write two different number sentences to find how many spines the lionfish. What property do you use? Okay, I'm going to use the community property of addition, which basically says I can put the numbers in different orders and still get the answer. So I go 13 plus the two near its back plus the three on the underneath side. Okay, or I can just change the order. I could go uh, from the underneath underside plus the two nearest tail plus the 13. And that's uh, 16, 17, 18. That equals, so that's 18 spines. Double check my math, 16, 18. Yeah, 18. 18 spines, I wrote it two different way. I used the community property of addition. And 28, extend your thinking. Gino found the sum of his pencils. Okay, he wrote a number sentence ex in expanded form as 20 plus 10 plus 3. Do you agree with him? Why or why not? And you can use the data right down here. It tells you his, about his pencils right there and uh, answer whether it's true and tell why or why not, why it is not true, or why, or why, it, why it's true or why it is not true.